tweakiness with the brakes. It's called a crested barbet. And look at those colors. You see bright oranges, reds, yellows, bits of black and spots on the wings. And then that big crest that gives it its name, crested barbet. Now you see the beak of this bird is very different to the beak of the vulture or the lilac breasted roller or even that chagra that we saw just now that all have that downturned hooked beak. These guys have a very heavy beak because they are fruit and seed eaters. So they need that big beak to peck away at fruit and to be able to crush little pips and seeds out of the fruit to gain nutrients and one of their favorite meals is actually mistletoe funny enough and you'll find the barbets do go after mistletoe so crested and black collared barbets which are the two that we see here regularly they'll both go to mistletoe and they'll feed off it and the problem with mistletoe is that the seed is very very sticky so what you'll find is they go to branches particularly of big trees or oh, don't go to the toilet are you going to go to the toilet I think it's going to show us its back end and go to the toilet what is with all of them this all these animals that have been doing this this week luckily this one decided not to you can see it's a bit windy though its crest has been blown all over <laughs> all over the place now Alice is saying they want to play who dung it yes maybe they're missing Tara and they want to do who dung it so that we can all see what are you doing maybe its backside is a little bit warm and it's now just cooling it down by lifting its tail and getting a bit of a breeze to cool down the rear end but I've honestly never seen a crested barbet doing that, other than when it's going to defecate. So Rebecca says that when James is around, there all the animals use the toilets. Well, we'll have to send a photo, a screenshot. Let's flood James Hendry's Twitter account with screenshots of all animals that have been going to the toilet the last few days in Juma. There we go. It dropped a little bomb there. There we go. So there's a screenshot just for James that we can all send to him over the next little bit. I'm sure James will love to see those should send him one of our jackal from the other day that was highly entertaining as well so I was saying about the mistletoe and how they'll then go to big trees and wipe the the seed off and the problem with mistletoe is it actually grows on trees itself so these barbets are a little bit of a problem because they take the mistletoe and they actually wipe it onto trees and then the mistletoe becomes a parasitic plant on that tree itself so the barbets while they are cool to eat things varying seeds and fruits oh here comes a battalier eagle another bird seems to be a bird day this afternoon we haven't seen birds like this for a while they seem to have been a little bit on the quiet side over the past few days we also have had so many animals to look at in the last week that we haven't really been paying that much attention to birds now this is called a battalier eagle and this is a juvenile battalier eagle you can see it's still brown in coloration short tail um, well actually longer tail than what it would have been if it's an adult as soon as it becomes an adult the tail starts to shorten and its coloration will change from that drab horrible brown to the nice black white and striking red of the face and feet it's, I think it's landed there somewhere since let's try to see if we go forward maybe we'll get lucky and find them So Alice is saying Battalier Eagles make her think of Connor because we're talking about the drone just now and what it looks like from above. Well, Connor used to love filming the Battaliers from the drone. So I suppose that's a fair assumption. Now, there's more elephant tracks here going down the road. You can see them big discs that are walking and filling the road with these big circular patterns.